next song is called King of My Heart. And I love anything with a topic of heart because in our natural abilities, we can't really see or hear God, but it's our heart that has the spiritual receptivity to see and hear God. It's our heart that becomes enlightened to know God. But oftentimes, we don't let God be the king of our heart if we're being honest. We replace God with things and material and circumstances and money and people. And we shove God off the top step of the podium of our heart sometimes, if we're just being honest. And God takes second or third place to our desires and our dreams. And while we're pursuing our dreams and our desires and our interests, God is pursuing his interest, and that's us. God never stops pursuing us, and it makes him worthy of being king of our heart. There's a lyric in the song that says, you'll never let me down. And I think to a time back in my life when I was struggling and I was just going through one trial after another and I was heartbroken and there was times where I was shaking my fist to heaven going, God, where are you? You're letting me down. You're not the God that I'm hearing about. Everyone tells me you're so great, but I lost my brother. I lost my father-in-law. My dad is abusing me. My friends are letting me down. Everyone's let me down. And what I realized is that it wasn't God that was letting me down. It's the sin that came in this world and complicated things that's letting me down. God is the only thing that's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's the only one. So our spouses eventually are gonna let us down, our coworkers, our family members, our parents. The Bible says in Psalms that, for even when my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will take me in. God loves us so much. And there's only one conclusion that we can make in this life. In the, in the human predicament of life, we're all struggling. We all have an achy, achy, hollow hearts, a God-sized shape hole in our hearts that we're trying to fill with something, right? There's only one conclusion, and it's God is good. Amen? He is so good. So let that be the glad shot of our hearts while we sing this next song. Check all your baggage at the door. Whatever, you, whatever gunk or what's going on in your minds, whatever tension you have, anxiety, whatever it is, just release it. We're in the presence of God right now. The only thing that matters right now is this very moment. God lives right now in this very tick of time. He is here with us today. Let's give him a praise. Amen. Let the king of my heart be the mountain where I run, the fountain I drink from, always my song. Let the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide, the ransom for my life, always my song. Sing you are good. Thank you. 
never gonna let me down You're never gonna let You're never gonna let me down You're never gonna let You're never gonna let me down You're never gonna let You're never gonna let